variation of our colors, and Abel Vidari will come forward to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Our band will play the national anthem, and Morgan Dacus will lead our invitation. Please join me as I add the saying of the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. throughout these years. Father, we thank you for bringing us to this day, the day where our hard work and patience have finally paid off. May we be just as dedicated in our future as we have been in the past. We thank you for blessing each one of us with different talents and abilities. It will be these talents and abilities that will lead us on different paths. As we embark on these paths, I pray that each one of us remember Psalm 23 and not fear because you are with us. You are our source of strength and you will guide us if we seek you. I pray that we do not seek fortune or fame, but that we seek to be a blessing to others because we have been blessed by you. Let us not give in to the temptations of this life, but let us walk with integrity and character and seek to honor you. Lastly, let us always remember how you taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. John DeBron. I've had the privilege of filling in as high school principal this year. And I've just got to say, as much as we hear bad things about the youth of our nation, I have to say that to this crowd that in my career, this is the best senior class I have ever had the privilege of working with. I'd like to thank our Air Force Junior ROTC for presentation of colors tonight. Certainly, we appreciate all the all members of our armed services do to protect our safety. For those of you who have not had the privilege of meeting him yet, I'd like to introduce our superintendent, Dr. Jeff Burke. Good afternoon. As superintendent of schools for Splendora ISD, it is my distinct pleasure and honor to welcome all of you to our 2016-2017 Splendora High School graduation. I would like to extend a special welcome to all parents, 
grandparents, family members, and friends of our graduates who have helped them along their way. Now, I would also like to introduce the Splendora ISD Board of Trustees. First, Mrs. Suzanne Soto, Board President. <laughs> Mr. Dan Muirhead, Board Vice President. <laughs> Mrs. Jackie Knott, Board Secretary. <laughs> Mrs. Vicki Thornton, Board Assistant Secretary. <laughs> Mr. Jason Dunn. <laughs> Mr. Kino Mantella. Mr. Rex Rock. Thank you, Board, for your commitment to our districts and to our community. In public education, high school graduation represents a significant milestone in the life of a district and in the lives of its students. It truly is the pinnacle of all that we do and represents the culmination of the journey our students have taken as they prepare to begin the next chapter in their lives. Graduation also serves as a reminder of the legacy we have been given to prepare the next generation of leaders in our community, state, and country. We hope that our students' time with us has imbued them with a sense of purpose and direction and has afforded them opportunities to explore, create, and imagine future plans and endeavors. The men and women of Splendora ISD have worked countless hours engaging with and preparing your children for their life after high school. Thank you so much for the privilege of working with your children and for your support during their years of education in Splendor ISD. <clears throat> At this time, I would like to publicly recognize and thank Mr. John DeBrock for his service this past year. Thank you so much for your dedication to our students. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Burke. At this time, I'd like to introduce our other platform guests. Uh, Assistant Superintendent Rick Kirschner. <laughs> Assistant Superintendent Kevin Lynch. <laughs> Executive Director of Curriculum Instruction, Dr. Tammy Gregerson. <laughs> Director of Federal Programs, Mr. Troy Reynolds. <laughs> Director of Human Resources and Accountability, Mr. Brian Kroger. Director of Career and Technology Education, Mr. Adam Lira. <laughs> Director of Advanced Academics, Ms. Susan Hoisington. <laughs> and Athletic Director, Marcus Schultz. <laughs> Another group that we couldn't do without been our Splendora High School counselors, Ms. Boydette Youngblood. <laughs> Amy Nichols. Jennifer Sowell, Jennifer Tamayo, and Don White. Finally, a group that I owe a great debt of indebted, in a great debt of gratitude to Assistant Principals Aubrey Brock, Kevin Meyer. and Diana Archer, who will be the high school principal next year. Finally, I'd rec recognize all of our faculty and staff that are here. If you would, please stand. Thank you. At this time, we'll hear from our senior class president, Abel Vidora. Good afternoon, friends and family. My name is Abel Vidari, and I'm the senior class president. I'd like to welcome everyone to this special moment in our lives. We've talked about this day for years now, but now it's here. And I don't think today's event really dawned on us until recently, or at least I thought so. It's just been so incredibly busy this year that most of us would say that this year flew by. Nonetheless, this is the day that we long so much for. The day where we would end the first major chapter of our lives and begin a new one. For many, we've spent the last 12 years of our lives in Splendora, and this is the only place that we've called home. But as we prepare to embark on the next journey in our lives, I want everyone to be sure of one thing, regardless if you've been here 12 years or 12 months. Each and every one of you has been provided with the essential skills 
to help you make a positive difference in the world. It's been both a privilege and a blessing to attend school under the direction of our administrators, teachers, coaches, and staff. Uh, you may not realize it, but these people are arguably, arguably the most influential individuals in our lives. They spend almost every day with us, they know what goes on in our lives, and they've seen us grow and mature into the people we are today. Oftentimes we overlook the job that they do, and it's a pretty important one. They show up every day, most of which are well over eight hours, and they give us their best, even when students don't always give theirs. They see our best and our worst, yet they continue to perform their duties tirelessly. Not only do they give us classroom instruction, but our teachers also double as mentors. Teachers, you may never realize it, but students look up to you. And when they come across important decisions in their life, they seek your opinion because yours is the one that matters. And you might be the only one offering any guidance to that individual. And that's how much you mean to us. To some of us, you're a life coach, a father figure, mother figure, and to others, you're our friend. And just know that your words have a profound impact on us. And when you feel like your words are falling on deaf ears, they're not. There's always somebody listening to your every word, and that person just might take your advice and use it to make a change in their life. Who knows, you may be the one to inspire someone to change the world. Teachers, when you're having a bad day, just remember that you serve a much greater purpose than you'll ever realize. And uh, you're appreciated, and for that, we thank you. My parents, like, <laughs> like many of the parents of other graduates today, they are my biggest support base. And no matter what career or college choices I plan for, they back me up 100%. And they offer me the best advice they could give. I got to thank my mother, the woman who taught me to always treat others fairly and with dignity. And for all the years she's taken care of me, you know, for all she's done, whether it's dropping me to school, picking me up from workouts, or making my breakfast every single day. Thank you, Mom. And then there's my father. The man I strive to be like. He's the one who instilled discipline in me. And it's because of him I work so hard for my goals. Because I know he works for everything that he's earned in his life. So thanks, Dad. As a result of their unrelenting love and support, I was able to pursue all of my interests, and I thank God every day for them and for blessing me, blessing me with such outstanding parents. Parents, they truly are exceptional. And with that being said, don't forget who laid the foundation for your future. Always remember those who have helped you and show them the appreciation they deserve. Never forget where you came from and the individuals who made you who you are because one day you'll be in their shoes and you'll be doing the same for someone else. So always pay it forward. Again, welcome to the graduation of the class of 2017. I know I speak for my fellow graduates today when I say thank you for sharing this special day with us and know that as we receive our diplomas today, it is with our deepest gratitude to all of you here. Thank you. Thank you, Abel. Next, in the class history will be presented by Paige Manzella. giver would I be if I didn't start with class of 2017 we did it so here I am we did it parents of 2017 graduates you did it too you forced your kid every morning to get out of bed and go to school like Kiara McDonald who didn't miss school for 13 years I would have never thought I would be the person standing up here today sharing our memories reminiscing on all the good times and maybe some bad and I surely never would have thought it would sneak up on us this fast. We have successfully made it through 13 years of school, 14 if you include kindergarten or pre-K. I just don't know the exact minutes or the exact hours, but y'all all just know that it's a lot. What I wanna to do today is relive the best moments of our life, starting with kindergarten. For those of you that have been here since then, you know that we all went to Peach Creek Elementary. Yes, that's the school that we can all now touch the ceilings in. But it was huge to us then. We were divided into 11 teachers' classes, but we all had one thing in common. We hated Miss Beattie's art class. This was the first year that we were here to make friends, first year to eat in the cafeteria, and for me, the biggest thing, the first year to leave my mom. 
I don't know about you, but I was not your happy kindergartner. Every morning when you were hugging your teachers and greeting her, I was the kid that was screaming at the top of my lungs crying. But, I mean, I guess some things never change. Anyways, we made friends that would make last us a lifetime. Miss Scott's class was where I met the, some of the best friends that I get to walk across the stage with today. Kindergarten was the easy year. We still had class parties, music class with Miss Woods, who we know now as Miss Andrews, and we can't forget about our kindergarten program. We were all jealous that Caroline Jones got the solo of Take Me Out to the Ball Game, right? Or maybe that was just me, but moving on. Next was kindergarten graduation. Just like this celebration today, we were all lined up in little red caps and gowns. Little did we know the next 12 years would fly by so fast. Now to first grade, which was a little different. We established our friend groups, got used to seeing them every day, and Slendora ISD decided to split us up. The only contact we would be able to have if you were lucky enough to make the top four of your friend's little fireflies. It's okay though, because we know every cool kid went to Greenleaf. Element elementary school started to, or introduced us to some of the greatest things and some of the worst. By greatest things, I mean reading counts. We would read a 100-page book for just two reading counts points. Unless we were Austin Tocek, who would check out as many books as possible and would read like level seven books in second grade. No wonder he always had the most reading counts points. Some of the worst things were tax tests. All day long with just a water and peanut butter crackers. And of course, there was always that kid who would take the maximum amount of time just while the rest of the class was sitting there staring at him, not to name any names, Gage Colblett. <laughs> Finally, we reached fourth grade. We knew this was the last year apart, and then we would move over to intermediate school, and we'd be all back with our friends, right? Well, once again, Slendora ISD said no, and we were forced to stay in elementary school two more years. For everyone else, this was horrible, unless you were the kids that got to go to the new school, Piney Woods. For anyone that doesn't know, any kid that did not get to go to Piney Woods was just like basically second string. Playing on 20 year old plus playgrounds while this kid had a brand new one, so I guess you could say sixth grade was quite a struggle. Then we moved on to junior high. Junior high was the first year we had to make our own decisions. We no longer had set schedules of music class Monday, art class Tuesday, and PE class on Wednesdays. We now had electives. Back then, we loved electives because they were the easy classes and the free classes. But when you're a senior and you're making your schedules and they tell you that you have to have four electives, you really realize how pointless they truly are. Junior high was scary. It was the first year for many things. We could now join choir or be in athletics or be a cheerleader. We also had to inter interact with older kids. We thought this was the year to come back together. We were wrong. We were split up between A and B lunch, and during athletics, we got split up between A and B team. But everyone played a sport back then. Just to remind everyone, yes, Alyssa Gilbert played volleyball, and Caitlin King and Destiny Faulkner played basketball. The amount of change was crazy, but what would junior high be without your first boyfriend or girlfriend? We all remember some, like Marissa Duke and Jonathan Gomez, or Micah Roden and Rocky Anderson. Junior high was full of times and some trial runs. Some of us found love for UIL, like Raina Lowry, who would later excel in every event, every year. Some of us found a heart in a certain sport, like Haley Matthews in volleyball. Dawson Colbert and McKaylin Baxley would discover their love for theater arts. Justin Dumas, Shelton Keck, and Brendan Garcia would find their hobby in performing in the band. There was so much that Swindora Jr. had taught us, so much. So let's move on to the greatest years of our life, high school. We would never hear enough. These are the best four years of your life, or they will fly by. We didn't believe it then, but I think I can speak for us all now. We believe it now. Freshman year. More like the year, Miss Lewis would be your scariest teacher, and you could always expect a high five from the hallway. Our freshman year, Jessica Lewis, our valedictorian, was voted most intelligent. Jennifer Ramos and Jonathan Gomez were voted most friendliest. Micah Roden and Dylan Vickers were voted most attractive. I guess you can say some things never change. In high school, we can now join, join different organizations such as speech, cosmetology, FBLA, and FFA. Freshman, sophomore, and junior year are all pretty similar. You find your hobbies, you drop hobbies, you find your friends, and you drop friends. The year that really makes a difference is your senior year. Senior year is weird because you love it, but at the same time, you cry almost every day. For anyone that is here and not a senior, warning, you're gonna probably cry every day. 
Early college stresses you, college applications stress you, scholarships stress you, so you just cry. And if you're a senior sitting down there today and you're telling me that you haven't cried at least one time this year, you're lying, I promise. But it's okay, we all understand. But beyond the stress senior year, we'll make the memories that you hold on forever. Our Wildcat football team won Battle of the Bell, and if anyone asks you about your senior football season, just say that part because we all know the rest really wasn't the best. But no offense, Coach Schultz, we have the best stress team in the district. Then we move on to homecoming. We lost the game, but you wouldn't have been able to tell how Nanishka Garcia and Bree Haney were yelling that night. Luckily, David and I won homecoming king queen, or probably wouldn't have mentioned that in the speech today. Just kidding. Volleyball and basketball gave it all they had, and with their all-time cheerleaders of Nathan Shim and, well, basically just Nathan Shim yelling the whole entire time. Powerlifting had seven girls make it to state, and one boy, that being our very own Ace of Speed. Yeah! Madeline Rista had many accomplishments in FBLA, and our baseball and softball teams would fall one short, short one game away from playoffs. Thanks, Kate Park. Sammy Anderson was also one struck away from her third time at the state golf tournament. Rebecca Wells was selected as an all-state dancer. Micah, Alexis, and Ariana passed their tests to be certified nurse assistants, and cosmetology had many girls pass their state test. Not to mention the 35-plus students that we had graduate from Lenstar with an associate's degree just two weeks ago. This is just a few of our accomplishments that we had within our senior year. Also, the few that have decided to enlist or have already enlisted in armed forces. So much has happened within these past four years that we were in high school together. After today, high school was just another chapter in our lives. It no longer matters if you're the cheer captain or a varsity football player, whether you were the lead in the play or the top notch in ROTC. None of that matters anymore. Our life is a collection full of different books. I hope in my speech today, I read you a few highlights from the books that we have made together in these short years. Our high school book is now on its last page. I hope that every one of us remembers the memories that we have made together, the good and the bad, and I hope that we all remember that we are Wildcats forever. Tomorrow we start our new book, but don't be afraid to reread the old ones. Swindora so Class of 2017, congratulations, we did it. Emily Schroeder is the salutatorian of the senior class of 2017. Emily, please come forward. Okay. When I was first informed that I would be giving a speech at graduation, I did exactly what I did with every assignment I was given while in school. I procrastinated until the absolute last minute. As days passed and the only thing I had accomplished was finishing a season of How I Met Your Mother, I knew I had to face this task. Public speaking is one of my biggest fears, but my bigger fear of making a B led me to having to speak here today. I have racked my mind and heart for what I'm supposed to say to not only the people I have grown up with, but also to the teachers, parents, family, and administrators here today. This is the only time I will ever have to explain what this community and school have done for me. Most people would assume that because of my good grades and successes in school, I have a normal life at home. Most people would probably assume that I perform the way I do in school because I'm smart or that I'm comp competitive, but none of that is true. I made the grades I did because at one point in my life, school was all I had. My home life was tainted with drugs and violence, but when I was at school, I found a purpose for life. It started in elementary when I realized my parents and home environment were different from my friends. The more differences I found, the more I started to comprehend that school was the only way I was ever going to get away from my home life. I didn't yet realize, though, that my teachers and friends would soon become who I thought of as family. People do not realize how much their small gestures of kindness can mean to someone who is only exposed to the harsh realities of the world. Small things, such as my teachers giving me books to take home, or my friends including me in games, showed me that people really did care about me. My life continued like this until the beginning of 8th grade year when we lost our house and my Aunt Angela and Uncle Tony allowed my brother and me to come live with them. That sounds great in theory, but uh, in practice, living with five kids proved extremely trying and hectic. Being the saints that they are, my, my aunt and uncle treated my brother and me like their own children despite the extra stresses we caused for them. I can now look back and pinpoint the exact day in my life uh, when my life was changed forever, which is September 22, 2013, when I went to live with them. 
The biggest lesson I have learned from high school and my Aunt Angela is that kindness is the most important thing we can have. I stand here today as a class salutatorian, not because I'm any better than any of you, but because of the things all of you have done for me. Even if we never spoke, you still affected my life because you're part of what allowed me to become who I am. Throughout this journey, I have worked alongside some of the most talented and diligent people I will ever have the honor of knowing. The teachers I had throughout my years not only shaped my mind, but also softened my heart and allowed me to see the world not as what my parents made it seem, but as a place where I choose my own path. I was supposed to be able to stand here and give you knowledge and inspire you to change the world, but I'm just as hesitant and a little scared as the rest of you are. There is no shame in having fear of crossing boundaries, but there is shame in holding yourself or others around you back because of those fears. To me, the point of living is not to gain fame or have everyone know my name. It is more about how I make others feel about themselves. We are all struggling with something at any given point, and it is most important to show compassion towards others and to help them see that every life is worth living. So much. <laughs> uh, Life only gets harder and more complicated as we get older, so while all of you are out there trying to find what makes you happy, whether that is serving your country, traveling the world, raising a family, starting a business, or even if you feel happiest while underwater basket weaving, do not forget to lend a helping hand to those around you. Thank you to everyone here, even those who put me down or belittled me, because without all of you, I would not be who I am today. I wish luck to all of you in your future endeavors, and I will always appreciate the future that this community, these teachers, my administrators, my friends, and this school have allowed me to build. Thank you. valedictorian class of 2017. Jessica, please come forward. Hello and welcome friends, family, staff, and almost graduates of Splendora High School's class of 2017. The moment we've been anticipating since the very first day of freshman year, roughly three years, eight months, one week, two days, six hours, and 45 minutes ago, is finally here. And yes, I did calculate this all out. I know this isn't completely accurate considering I didn't start this speech at two o'clock, but come on, it's close enough, right? Anyway, as our graduation ceremony commenced, we officially began the process of becoming a graduate at Has Been from Swindora High School. Now I know each of us has several people to thank for ending up where we are today, so a huge thank you goes out to all of those individuals that may have made a positive impact on our lives. On a personal note, I would like to thank my loving and always supportive parents, and Mary Lou, my mini-me, Raina Brooke, my other close family and wonderful friends, and the special teachers that have helped me along the way. Also, for those of us that have lost anyone near and dear to our hearts, let's just know that they're looking down on this moment with wide smiles, full hearts, and proud thoughts. As we are about to begin the next big chapter in our lives, we could all use some words of advice and encouragement. Like any high school student, I utilize the one resource that has assisted each one of us in gaining valuable and always accurate information, google.com, to gain an insight on exactly what I'm supposed to stand before you all and say. Don't worry, English department, I strayed away from Wikipedia. Here are some of the tips that I compiled. Follow your dreams. You can do anything that you set your mind to. Be the change you wish to see in the world, and your opportunities are endless. While these are commonly used in speeches, I'm going to avoid these wonderful tips that we've all seen hanging up in our teachers' classrooms on those motivational posters and now in our hallways. The advice that I want to focus on today is just one word, sweet and simple, courage. What better advice can be given than the word of God? Joshua 1.9 says this, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. So what exactly is courage and how is it measured? Well, Merriam-Webster tells us that courage is the mental or moral strength one has to venture, persevere, and withstand danger, fear, or difficulty. 
For some of us, let's face it, crawling out of bed and going to school every morning took a lot of courage. And come on, we all had that one class or organization that took us completely out of our comfort zone. Think a little. You know exactly which one pertains to you. It could range anywhere from athletics to band, ROTC to dance to cheer, UIO to FFA, cosmetology to CNA, or even AP classes to risky electives. No matter which it was for you, we eventually had to step up to the plate with the courage to take a swing. High school has been a major stepping stone in figuring out exactly who we are as unique individuals, what we like and dislike, what we excel in, and what we need to work harder at. But let's look even deeper than this. Each and every one of us will face struggles that help us to discover our own courage while writing the next chapter of our lives. Some of our classmates have the incredible courage to put their lives on the line for the protection of our country and the American way of life through the armed forces and or uniform public service. While we often take for granted the very things that most deserve our gratitude, know that these acts of courage don't go unnoticed or unappreciated. And for this, we will be forever grateful. Others are going straight into the workforce and will begin immediately using all of their courage to start making a living for themselves. And like me, some of us are going to leave home and live on our own for the very first time to pursue a degree of higher education. You see, I believe that courage is not really about your final destination. That's not what life means, but it's more about the courageous acts along the way through your journey. In regards to courage, I was told this. We will be tested and put into situations that will be challenging throughout our lives. God never promised us easy. However, he did promise us that he will be with us in our journeys as long as we have faith and trust in him. In every situation throughout our lives, we will face choices. Now, it would be easier to take a step back and not fight for what we know is right in our hearts. And some people may attempt to bring us down by attempting to do just that. Instead, we must always stand up for what God has intended and remember to always follow our hearts. We must surround ourselves with people that will fight for us and fight for what is right every single day. Also, know that this journey we are about to embark on is so much bigger than the small graduating class of you and me here and now. Doing what's right will not always be easy, and it may not seem worth it during the time of struggle and heartache, but there's always a purpose for the pain. There is always more to this journey than what we see in the present. God wants each and every one of us to be courageous and strong in our journeys. So I urge our class of 2017 to be courageous in every decision in life that we feel is in our best interest, even if it isn't the popular one. Let's be courageous in the way we live and act every day. We have to be strong for ourselves and those around us because, let's face it, we're all going to have our weak days. We have the ability to accomplish anything in this life as long as we believe we are as strong and courageous as God already knows we are. Coach Shastata. Thank you for sharing this crucial advice with the team I now consider family. I'm so honored to share your wisdom with the graduating class of 2017. I hope that this little bit of knowledge will help each one of us as we go out and begin the newest chapter in our lives. Remember, courage is not defined by how big or small the act, but through the effort put in and the struggle endured in order to succeed. So, almost graduates of Swindora High School's class of 2017, Let's go out in the real world and be courageous. Thanks and gig them. This year we're starting to, we're hoping to start a new tradition of recognizing what will be known as legacy graduates. As the community of Splendor is continuing to grow, it's important to remember where we've been to better appreciate where we're going. A Splendora legacy graduate is one whose parents or grandparents graduated from Splendora High School. In order to honor their commitment to the community, we would like to recognize those students, parents, and grandparents at this graduation. As I call your names, please stand and remain standing until all have been introduced. I'm sorry. Legacy graduate is Ashley Ackley, daughter of Edward Lee Stewart, class of 1993. 
Dawn Barker, daughter of Michael Johnson, class of 1997. Madison Collins, daughter of Amy Sitton Collins, class of 1994, and granddaughter of R. Danny Collins, class of 1967. <laughs> Marissa Duke, daughter of Walter Duke, class of 1993, and Miriam Duke, class of 1995. <laughs> Tanner Enloe, son of Joe Enloe, class of 1996, and grandson of Danny Enloe, class of 1972. Trent Enloe, grandson of Charlotte Enloe, class of 1970. Kaylin Escobar, daughter of Johnny Escobar, class of 1990. Wyatt Hanson, son of Doug Hanson, class of 1988, grandson of Ivan Hanson, class of 1953. Ryan Hoffert, son of Michael Hoffert, class of Stacy Williamson Olivo, class of 1990, grandson of Elbert Williamson, class of 1962, and grandmother Donna Ward, class of 1996. Amber LaRoche, daughter of Melina LaRoche, class of 1991, granddaughter of Mike Martin, class of 1969, and Sarah Yeager Martin, class of 1969. <laughs> Jessica Lewis, daughter of Anthony Lewis and Diane Fuller Lewis, both from the class of 1987. <laughs> Amy Matthews, daughter of William Matthews and Rebecca Snodgrass Matthews, both from the class of 1994. Brianna Null, daughter of Jason Null, class of 1982, and Jackie Clatt Null, class of 1987. Chris Pruitt, his grandmother Debbie Gregor McQueen, class of 1978. Taylor Schultz, grandson of Bert Schultz and Vera Hayden, both in the class of 1966. Austin Topchik, son of Rachel Snodgrass, Rachel Snodgrass Tocek, class of 1994. Thank you. You may be seated. During the school year, Splendor High School students have completed 4,094 college hours. This has been possible because of the strong partnership between Lone Star College Kingwood and Splendora High School and the commitment of Lone Star College Kingwood and our school board. This time, I'd like to recognize those students in the top 10% of the class. These students will be wearing a gold cord to signify their accomplishment. I ask that each student and their parents stand as their name is called. If you would please hold your applause until all have been introduced. Cindy Lindley is the daughter of Randall and Maggie Lindley and plans to attend Texas State University. David Thackeray is the son of David and Susan Thackeray and plans to attend Texas A&M University. Jennifer Ramos is the daughter of Pedro and Sonia Ramos and plans to attend Texas A&M University. Destiny Faulkner is the daughter of Angela Davis and plans to attend Lone Star College. Michaela Baxter daughter of Jerry and Angela Montgomery and plans to attend Texas State University. Shelton Keck, the son of Shane and Shelly Keck, plans to attend the University of Houston. Paige Manzella is the daughter of Keno and Misty Manzella and plans to attend Texas A&M University. Priscilla Trejo is the daughter of Juan and Herlinda Trejo and plans to attend the University of Texas. Morgan Dacus is the daughter of Ron and Stephanie Dacus and plans to attend Texas A&M University. Brian Hoffert is the son of Michael Hoffert and Stacy Olivo and plans to attend Texas A&M University. Austin Bradshaw is the son of Sean and Nikki Ferguson and plans to attend Lone Star College. 
Haley Matthews is the daughter of William and Rebecca Matthews who plans to attend Laterno University. Emmett Champagne is the son of Chris and Michelle Champagne and plans to attend Sam Houston State University. Amber LaRoche is the daughter of John and Melinda LaRoche who plans to attend the University of North Texas. Alma Tippett is the daughter of Roscoe and Raina Tippett who plans to attend Baylor University. Janelle Romero is the daughter of Jose and Ada Romero and plans to attend the University of Texas. Shalma Young is the daughter of Joe and Anna Young and plans to attend the University of Texas. Samantha Anderson is the daughter of Lynn and Lori Anderson and plans to attend Sam Houston State University. Jonathan Gomez is the son of Alfredo and Janet Gomez and plans to attend Texas A&M University. Wyatt Hanson is the son of Doug and Kim Hanson and plans to attend Texas A&M University. Michael Roden is the daughter of Mike and Melissa Roden and plans to attend Texas A&M University. Caitlin King is the daughter of Wendell and Sandra King and plans to attend Sam Houston State University. Raina Lowry is the daughter of Ronald and Monica Lowry and plans to attend the University of Texas in Austin. Asa Spade is the son of Rachel Spade and plans to attend Texas State University. Abel Vidari IV is the son of Abel Vidari III and Patricia Vidari and plans to attend Texas A&M University. Madeline Russo is the daughter of Anthony and Angela Russo. She plans to attend the University of Texas. Emily Schroeder is the salutatorian this year with a grade point average of 6.0454. She's the daughter of Anthony and Angela Russo and plans to attend A&M University. Jessica Lewis is our valedictorian with a grade point average of 6.19722. She's the daughter of Anthony and Diane Lewis and plans to attend Texas A&M University. So ladies and gentlemen, the top 10% graduates. Thank you, you may be seated. The students in the class of 2017 have accumulated over $608,324 in scholarships. Congratulations, group. As you know, we're in the middle of the Memorial Day weekend, a time when we set aside to recognize those who made the ultimate sacrifice for our country. At this time, I'd like to recognize our students that are here that have already have made that commitment to join the armed services. And we have two that have already served that are serving at this time and are not here. So I call your name, please stand and remain standing until all have been announced. Rebecca R., United States Army. Juan Avalos, United States Army. Justin Compion, United States Marines. Zebediah Dench, United States Army. Kobe Farrell, United States Navy. Brody Fulcher is currently in boot camp with the United States Marines. His diploma will be accepted this afternoon by his fellow Marine, Josh Hayden. Christopher Johnson, United States Navy. Donovan Leach, United States Marines. Braden Payne is, certainly, is currently in boot camp with the United States Army. Jordan Reyna, United States National Guard. Cameron Reinwald, United States Navy. Cody Shelton, United States Marines. And Casey Billiard, United States Marines. Let's give them all a
freshman from Dora High School, I affirm that the students before you have completed the course of instruction prescribed by the Splendora Independent District School District and have earned the right to participate in commencement under the laws of the great state of Texas and the policies of the Splendora Independent School District. It's my privilege to present to you the Splendora High School class of 2017. I accept your certification and congratulate our students on behalf of the school board in accordance with state law. At this time, Mr. Brian Clover will declare the final roll of the class of 2017. Jessica Marie Lewis. Emily Summer Schroeder. Madeline Jewel Russo. Abel Vidari IV. Asa Spade. Raina Lowry, Caitlin Rochelle King, Michael Viola Roden, Wyatt Douglas Hansen, Jonathan Gomez. Samantha Lauren Anderson. Selma Ann Young. Janelle Romero. Alma Alexandra Tippett. Amber Nicole LaRoche. Emmett Austin Champagne. Haley Rochelle Matthews. Austin Tyler Bradshaw. Ryan Michael Hoffert. Morgan Dacus. Priscilla Trejo. Paige Madison Manzella. Shelton Chaz Keck. Kaylin Louise Baxley. Destiny Lee Faulkner. Jennifer Karina Ramos. David Allen Norman Thackeray. Sydney Lane Lindley. Maria Guadalupe Mojica Martinez. <laughs> Ashley Nicole Ackley. <laughs> Esther Alcantara. Abdul Aziz Al Kindi, 
Nicole Leanne Allen. Keely Allums. Adair Almaguer Rodriguez. Elizabeth Renee Alston. Seth Anthony Anderson. Rocky Anderson. Jesus Pedro Andrade. Rebecca R. Juan Angel Avalos. Tara Ayers. Michaela Shea Baker. Seth Allen Bonanno. Dawn Marie Barker. Maribel Bautista. David Allen Beveridge. Elizabeth Rose Birkenfeld. Stevie Adriana Blackerby. Peyton Kathleen Bond. Eric Stephen Borboa. Sean Gage Bourgeois. Blaine Andrew Bowers. Kristen Michelle Brandon. Brandon Allen Brogan. Connor Randall Bryan. Haley Nicole Burrell. Evelina Paulino Bustos Villarreal. Nicholas Isaiah Webb Butcher. Haley Page Byers. Lorena Cabrera Granados. Fatima Cabrera Sanchez. Savannah Cadenas. Melissa Jeanette Camacho. Brandy Lynn Kajimi. Stacy Ann Kajimi. Barbara Cardona. Elise Nicole Casey. Blake Castor. Adriana Renee Castillo. Samuel Castillo. Gabriel Solis. Angelina Marie Cervantes. Anastasia Cervantes. Felicity Lene Cheatham. Alexis Michaela Cherry. Heather Cherry. Yeah. 
Madison Lee Collins. Victoria Alexis Cologne Keller. Justin David Copion. Rianne Faye Creasy. Kayla Michelle Crenshaw. Dawson Dalton Eric Colbert. Blake Curry. Tegan Nicole Dean. Zebediah Paul Ditch. <laughs> Madison Michelle Doucette. Marissa Ann Duke. Dustin Ray Dumas. Bailey Michelle Dunn. Taylor Dupree. Dixie Jean Earhart. Morgan Page Eason. Tanner Ray Inlow. Trenton Kane Inlow. Nathan Lee Erickson. Kaylin Escobar. Logan Duane Esqueda. Austin Chance Falls. Mario Hector Flores Lozano. Cameron Finkley. Gia Kareem Fielding. Colby Joseph Farrell. Jose Fernandez. Jesus Fernandez. Anthony Matthew Fernandez. Alejandra Fernandez. James Dwayne Franklin. Brendan Renee Garcia. Nanushka Garcia. <laughs> Luis Eduardo Garcia. <laughs> Leslie Garcia. <laughs> Jordan Lee Garrison. Nicholas Ray Gaunts. Yeah! 
Alyssa Ann Gilbert. Nelson Hiron. Jerry Steve Gonzalez. Layla Jocelyn Gonzalez. Working hard. Osvaldo Gonzalez. Ronald James Gornick Kaiser. Rebecca Faith Grizzoffi. Aldair Guerrero Vargas. Dakota Ray William Haith. Brianna Morgan Haith. Joshua Brian Hayden. <laughs> Bailey Marie Henderson. <laughs> Kaylee Enriquez. <laughs> Jennifer Hernandez. Raquel Renee Hernandez. Chandler Andrew Holloway. Alexis Leanne Holman. Kimberly Horn. Joey Lee Howard. <laughs> Hannah Isabel Hubert. <laughs> Riley Hunter Holsey. <laughs> Brittany Renee Hutchins. Samantha Inguanzo. Hunter Dallas Isaacs. Zachary Tyler Jackson. Tyler Matthew Johns. Christopher Ryan Johnson. Tyler Brett Johnson. Caroline Ann Elizabeth Jones. William Dallas Jones. Landry Brandon J. Landry Noah Jean Lane Lacey Amanda Larrett Donovan Leach
Madison Bailey Lynch. Cameron Allen Marksberry. Noemi Martinez. Mark Anthony Martinez. Cole Allen Maxwell. Destiny Rose McCarter. Kiara Renee McDonald. Alexis Shalise McGinty. Colby Jean McIntosh. Megan Shane McLam. Clara Jacqueline Mendoza Gary. Seth Wayne Miracle. Patrick Garrett Meyer. Brittany Rochelle Milliken. Joel Milliken. Samantha Miranda. Heaven Lee Angel Nitschke. Natalie Mahan. Bethany Christine Moore. Gordon Thomas Moore. Nathan Moore. Daniel Moreno. Brittany Morgan. <laughs> Chloe Lou Madison Morris. Michael Morris. Alexandra Michelle Morrow. Malia Faye Mosley. Victoria Moyers. Mariano Munoz. Esteban Mauricio Murgo. Ian Murray. Michaela Denise Myers. Maricela Nava. Todd Ryan Norris. Aaron Luis Noah. Brianna Knoll. <laughs> Emily Nicole Ochoa. <laughs> Christian Matthew Odom. <laughs> Stephanie Lee Ogden. <laughs> Alex Olguin. Colby Michael Owens. Wow. 
Kyle Stevens Blinick. Nicole Miley Patrick. Brody, Brody Peachy. Joel Pena. Francisco Miguel Perez. Heaven Haley Faith Crew. Real. Real. Christopher Pruitt. Michelle Rash. Kevin Joel Reardon. Arleth Reyes. Jordan Lee Reyna. Cameron Reinwald. Sophia Rodriguez. Ryan Roebuck. Brittany Madison Rogers. Colton Lane Rogers. Courtney Madison Rogers. Jesse Malin Rosencrantz. Miguel Angel Salas. Yesenia Salinas. Jose Alberto Sanchez. Samantha Sanchez. UDL Santos. Soyla Santoyo. Schindler, Taylor Marie Schultz, Cody Andrew Shelton, Nathan Shem, Haley Lynn Sims. Tara Cherie Smith. Darcy Michelle Snyder. Darren Raymond Spates. Trisha Swarthout. William Tanton. Joshua Adam Tarver. Kenzie Shay Teague. Jolyn Janae Thompson. Austin Hunter Tochek. Alicio Trejo Castillo. Joshua Neal Tuttle. Carlos Sock. Cortland Marie Massick.
Cammy Marie Manhoy. David Vasquez. Myra Velasquez. Shelby Chantel Vest. Dylan Jacob Vickers. Sergio Villanueva. Casey Dylan Villiard. Reese Allen Ward. Rebecca Jewel Wells. Amanda Wenzel. Justin Ray Wessels. Brandon Lee West. Elena Gabrielle Whitaker. Jordan Elaine Wilkinson. Dylan Richard Williams. Kenna Marie Williams. Amber Woodall. Derek Daniel Wright. Jordan Leanne Wright. Shaylee Rianne Wright. Haley Michelle Siegel. Mahaley Zulaga. Shayla Diane Zweifel. This time, Abel Bernard will come forward to lead the benediction. Please stand if you will. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we gather before you today from many different backgrounds and cultures. However, together we're a single body, and we give thanks to you, Lord, for watching over us and molding us to the young men and women we've become. God, we pray for your continued protection and guidance as we enter the next chapter of our lives, and that you safeguard our futures. Remind us to seek your face in all things we do, and may we live our lives within your will and glorify you and your kingdom. We pray that you give us strength and determination to continue to fight through life's battles. As you've encouraged us in Deuteronomy 31.6, we're ready to be strong and courageous. We should not be afraid or terrified for you, our Lord and our God, go with us, and you'll never leave us, nor will you ever forsake us. Lord, we give you thanks, we give you praise, and in all things we give you glory. 
God, may you please continue to bless the class of 2017 for the rest of our days. Amen. Amen. senior class of 2017. At this time, I would ask Mr. and Miss Splendora High School, Asa Spade and Sammy Anderson, to turn and face your class. And now you may turn your tassels. Thank you.